host Celeste Jones and Medici in the Metaverse. Today we're at the Crypto Connect Expo in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I have the actual artist that started digital art. Yes. Gartel. Hello, Lawrence. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Celeste. Great to be here with you. Well, now, this is an icon because he started in the 70s before anybody was doing digital art. So, Lawrence, would you tell us a little bit about your, your journey? Oh, my goodness. Well, how many hours do we have? <laughs> I'll make it quick, or as quick as I can make it. Uh, I started in 1975 working at a place called Media Study Buffalo in upstate New York. I was using analog systems and I met the video guru Nam June Pike who started video art in the 60s and I started working on this machine so I didn't even know what I was doing. Knobs, buttons, wires, voltage control, gray values. It was probably the size of this room. Uh, and uh, probably less computer capacity that's in your cell phone for sure, 100%. So that's where I started. I saw this as the future, and I never stopped in 47 years. A short break for a quick thank you to our sponsor, Oditto.io, partnering with established artists to build out metaverse galleries, curate, mint, market, promote, and sell their NFTs with strategic success. Check it out. Oh, ditto. Io. So, so this book, Warhol versus Gartel. Would you tell us about this and tell us about Warhol? I mean, you know, Andy Warhol. Yes, of course. So I used to hang out in in Studio Fifty Four, CBGB's Mud Club. I was everywhere in New York City, and uh, I had met Andy in Studio and. He asked me, we struck up a conversation. He says, listen, I got the gig to do Debbie Harry's album cover. Do you think you can help me create it? And I said, absolutely. And I taught him how to use the Amiga computer. And at that time, I was doing digital art already for 10 years, except I was a kid. Then this book actually occurred a couple of years ago because the director of the Luca Museum in Italy said, do you realize how significant this is? I said, well, I always thought I was significant. He goes, no, 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 you don't understand. I mean, if you taught Andy, then you brought pop art into the digital realm. Oh, my God, we must have a show of your work and Andy's work together. And they produced the traveling museum show throughout Italy in different museums and venues. And, of course, COVID happened, so it stopped. And we were scheduled for like another dozen uh, or so museums, but the 300 page book still survives. And uh, that's the story. Wow, that is amazing. So um, I understand too, Lawrence, that you have done all kinds of things, not just for uh, Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys, Justin Bieber, who else? Justin Timberlake, uh, ACDC, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I have art that's in the Hard Rock Guitar Hotel in the lobby. It's called the Legends of Rock and Roll. I have an entire hallway of artworks that are printed on metal. They're there forever, and they beautifully dedicated a plaque to me larger than Elvis Presley. So if you haven't seen it, I must take you there. Yes, I am dying to go. I mean, I am so excited about this, to actually be with the originator of digital art. But here we are in the 2022 with NFTs and digital art. And this icon has been doing this since the 70s, Lawrence Gartel. And he is going to be having his first ever NFT drop with Oditto.io. Register now to get on that allow list and be notified. We will be having a drop a month for Lawrence Gartel. Stay tuned to Oditto.io. Thank you, Celeste Jones and Medici in the Metaverse.